All right, guys. My name is Tyler Gibson, and this is my homemade roto molder. Purpose of making this is to be able to do at home roto molding or slip casting without the need for any heavy shop equipment or anything like that. In fact, to build this, all you need are some constructs, maybe a scrap piece of base wood, some regular wood screws, and some sort of a uh, power drill. I happen to be using a DeWalt 18 volt cordless just because that's what we have laying around but I highly recommend if you don't have a drill just getting a, a Harbor Freight. You can get an 18 volt combo pack there for like 40 bucks so it's really inexpensive. All these constructs you can find on eBay for about $20 um, and then find a piece of scrap wood laying around somewhere. Uh, it's a really basic setup. You can see basically built a mounting cradle for the DeWalt drill here. So it just flips in and slides onto a, a rail here that's glued into one of the connection pieces that spins this. Um, and then on the other side we have another connection piece that's glued down and then a set, a band that runs to a third rail. So as this spins uh, in one direction, the inner piece spins in a one-to-one -one ratio as well, which gives us that full range of motion to do rotational mold. The other piece that you'll need to be able to do this is, of course, an original to make your mold from. Uh, in my case, I just happen to have access to a rapid prototyping machine, but you can you know, sculpt your own out of clay or whatever material you'd like. Um, put it in a box, uh, make a simple mold that way. I just have a two-piece mold that just use some rubber bands to hold it together. Um, you will need to find both centers of gravity for your mold, which is really easy to do. And again, you, know, you don't have to be super precise about it. It can be as simple as taking a block piece, setting it on top, going back and forth until you find where its center of gravity is. Um, the other stuff that you'll need is casting material. We have several options for this. One of them is really expensive. Uh, I actually really like Alumilite. You can find it online at various places. Um, a lot of train and hobby shops will sell it. It's really fast setting, which is nice for rotational molding. That's a really nice, consistent plastic. It's easy to make at home. Other options, this is what I'm using right now, the two-part uh, polyurethane liquid rubber uh, that I get from polytech.com. It's really affordable. So the basics, take your mold. You need to make sure when you're casting your box that it fits into your plug in here. And so you basically slip this in. So as I was saying, slip your your mold into place here, and you want to secure it with uh, with something. I, I normally use rubber bands, although for the video I'm just gonna slot it into place just to give you an idea how it works. Um, I've also marked, you can't really see it on here because I'm using black construct pieces, but I've also marked where the center of gravity is on my inner, uh, inner piece here so that I know that as this rotates it will be uh, centered and even. Then we'll add our piece back to the outer shell here. Next up, so I hook our drill up. Um, you want to make sure this is on a very low speed on your drill, and you only want to be going very slow around. That's usually plenty. You want to make sure that if you're using whatever material you're using has a very fast setup time. Uh, generally just a few minutes, you know, anything under three or four minutes will work well. 
this thing is actually pretty well balanced so that it can go pretty quickly. But going fast with it is not advisable because it will end up throwing your material to the extremities of the mold. But when you're done, do the same process in reverse. I'll pop one of the outer shells. 